and God is saying that when a new layer of oil, a higher layer of oil comes upon your life, the evidence that that oil has really rested is that you are going to find authority, authority in a certain aspect of your life. The authority of God will begin to operate there. Do you understand that? Now, for instance, how many of you have uh, sat under the ministry of Theophilus Sunday? The Theophilus' anointing gives him authority in the area of the music ministry. He has a most strange kind of music ministry. He, his music ministry treats the atmosphere. Just in case there's a demonic stronghold trying to project itself in the atmosphere. When, he, when Theophilus begins to minister, he has authority against demonic projections that diminish the capacity of the flow of God in a certain place. Now, you need to understand something. You know, when we are not the same, even though we are together, we are not the same. There can be an area of authority that God has bequeathed to you because of the uniqueness of the grace of God that is on your life. It means that when issues are brought to us that have that texture of the kind of authority that you have, you are the one that should. Among us here, there are some people, if you bring someone that needs to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, it's, it's easy for some people, it's difficult for other people. It's not that they don't get results, but some people, it's just, it's with ease. It's a proof that you have a line of authority in that area of ministry. So such a person can arrange a meeting for people that are not baptized in the Holy Spirit and in one sweep, 200 people speak in tongue. In one sweep, 500 people speak in tongue. He doesn't even need to do a Bible study. I remember there's an evangelist in Kaduna. People gave their life to Christ and there were so many. And what he did for them to be filled with the Holy Ghost, he went to a tree and cut a little branch and told them, can you see this branch? As they raised their eyes to see, they began to speak it. <laughs> can, you, can you see it? Can you see it? As they tried to... He has authority in that area. Meanwhile, you will do two weeks of Bible study. Then when you lay hands on the person, the person will sleep. <laughs> oh, glory to God. No. He caught a branch. It is. You know, there's no scripture where somebody uses that way. You will know that the anointing on him is giving him direction. He, he said, Can you see? Can you see? Ooh. Everybody was baptized in the Holy Ghost. Meanwhile, it would have taken some pastors a year program. They just say, Holy Ghost year, the year of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> he has authority. If you want to know yourself in the spirit, find your horn. Where, where is your horn? There are some people when they lead prayer among us, you want to pray. Just give them prayer. And then the prayer meeting will succeed because it's running on the anointing of a man that has authority alone. We all pray. Don't get me wrong. If we all pray. All these ministers you are seeing here are powerful prayer people. But it's not every man that prays that has the horn to make people travel with prayer. In fact, there are some people if you say they should lead prayer here, We'll, we'll sing throughout. <laughs> Hallelujah. It, there's no authority in that area. So don't try to be like someone else. Find your horn. Please help me tell your neighbor, find your horn. What is that thing that receives authority when the anointing of God is operating on your life? If you stand in that place, you cannot be wrong. Once upon a time, I noticed that I noticed that uh, 
when people read the Bible, I see so many things in it. Then when the preacher preaches, I say, oh, the preacher didn't see this thing. Oh. And I didn't know that it was the teaching anointing that was making me see it. I thought it was natural. Then when I realized that, oh, it was an anointing. And I knew that I had the anointing to teach. What I did was that I spent years studying the Bible so that I could deploy that anointing on a very strong magnitude of excellence. I invested in it. You see, the area of investment ah, that you will get the quickest results in terms of ministry is in that area that your anointing is situated. So I started studying the Bible. Like today. Meanwhile, the way I study my Bible is not the way you study. No. When, my, when I begin to move like this in the house, eh? I do, I'm just moving. I'm studying. No. Um, it's one scripture that I'm trying to crack. I want the anointing to begin to teach me. So I know what to do. It's time to walk. It's still the Bible. If you greet me, I will say, okay, how are you? But... Every single day before I stand here, I do that work. Because I know how revelation comes. I know how to receive the word of the Lord for the season. I know that anointing. Because in that area, I have authority. You see me walking around. I'm looking for the mind of God. I'm looking for it. Because one of the evidences that the anointing is at work is that the anointing has capacity to teach you. When you notice that, that you are being taught, it's teaching you how to talk, it's teaching you how to arrange the scripture. Start with this one, go this way, and then come this way. When you notice that there is, there is a teaching spirit at work, it is the anointing because that's one of his manifestations. I will keep moving around until I begin to receive inner teaching. It means the anointing is at work. Even if you are a warrior, God will teach your hands to fight. There is a way to fight. And it's the anointing that is upon your life that will orchestrate that kind of teaching. So that when you come and you begin to do that which you have authority to do it will be evident that the power of the spirit is behind this thing that this man is doing we went for a conference and the preacher said god has revealed mysteries to him and for two hours we we're trying to hear the mystery <coughs> him and revealed mysteries and that's what he wants to teach for two hours we were still looking until the time finished you see don't <laughs> it was obvious that god did not meet him it's not advertisement your own verbal advertisement that is the matter if there is authority you don't even need to say it the anointing ah, you are empowered already when the anointing is at work oh good will begin to happen to people and i stayed in that teaching for eight years after eight years the lord now came no after 12 years the lord now came to me and said my son teach now huh? i said okay okay these 12 years what have i been doing what is it that i've been doing for 12 years now you come to me instead of you to say i want to add you now say teach now jesus i was not i didn't understand the meaning of that but you know what from that time that jesus said teach now I now had the authority to establish doctrine. You see, that's a skill that not every teacher has. 
when you have the skill to establish doctrine it means you number among the wise master builders a more clinical aspect a more technical clinical and sensitive aspect of responsibility in the order of that anointing was now deployed to operate I walked in that for a while when I walked in it for a while the Lord came again he said now I will open the door to the prophetic anointing to you I've seen my life change based on anointings because it's the anointing that is at work that will give you the authority that you control that you command and it will be the basis of the kind of good that can result from its oppression and as long as you remain faithful God will be adding 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 those days when i was principally a teacher if i wanted to lead prayer i would take a scripture and say according to this scripture this is the counsel of god so let us pray that this and this should happen i was praying like a teacher when the prophetic anointing came the prayer changed i can actually see what to pray about it's no longer the teaching anointing of preaching it's something else and it has its own brilliant way of bringing prayer points there is someone in this auditorium that's the person god sent me to a new anointing just opened in your life and you have not yet gained full mastery you are not understanding what is happening because the operations of this new anointing look strange from the pattern that you are used to. And so, you do not understand what is happening. God has sent me to you. And you are going to receive an impartation that will bring understanding to you. Because the thing about anointings is, you need to know, you need to receive the sign from the Holy Ghost that is setting anointing is in operation you need to know the sign that it's in operation are you with me there is a sign for every anointing when an anointing is being administered there is such a sign that the holy spirit gives you so that you know that that anointing is beginning to operate the reason why you need to know is because there are certain levels of yieldedness that is needed to wield anointings for those of you that operate in the power gifts you know that when god wants to do some power things through your life he gives us many feelings you feel somehow you feel and then you begin to master what the holy spirit is saying by those signs so that when you see the sign you are sure of what can happen it means there is a certain anointing that is operational your your administration can shift just because you know that that anointing is functional but the bottom line is this you are therefore empowered to do good hallelujah so the first thing i want us to understand is when you notice that you are in the midst of so much pressure and wicked people have arrayed themselves against you just know that the next thing that is going to happen is that god is going to anoint you it is through the anointing upon the life of him that knows oppression if you have ever known oppression god is likely to anoint you so that you can have compassion of people that are oppressed he will use the anointing that is upon your life to disentangle that situation that is bedeviling you and because you have experienced oppression before it will become a, a reason for you to latch on to compassion anytime you see someone oppressed 
and that compassion will become the trigger that will make demands on the anointing the moment the anointing begins to operate god will give you a sign did you get that oppression oppression not every oppression you pray about that god will take away instantly because some of them are designed in order to to for god to release a deposit upon you but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn i shall be anointed with fresh oil